Hello once again guys and welcome to another Ishisha review. So as promised I purchased three disposable Ishisha pens each from a different brand and this is my review of the first one that arrived. I've already done the Ishisha Club Infinity which I just bought anyway and this is the first of the three that I promised I would buy. So this is the E Kaiser disposable e-cigarette slash Ishisha as it says up here. Um, I got mojito flavour because Kaiser has a particularly unusual range of flavours including things like cotton candy, toffee and caramel, a variety of cocktails and I personally love mojitos so when I saw that there was a mojito flavour I thought I am definitely having that. So as you can see it's 500 puffs, it comes in this little plastic box thing, um, design looks pretty nice, it's in its shrink wrap at the moment so I'm just going to unwrap that now. Right, I'm just trying to wrestle it out of its packaging. So inside here we've got the little plastic box and the actual Ishisha pen itself. Okay, right. So it's got a really nice kind of plasticky, shiny, vinyl type feel to it. As you can see, it's got a rubber seal on both the ends, which is unusual. I know there's normally one on the mouthpiece end, but this one seems to have one on the tip which is here as well as the actual mouthpiece so that's the end there and here is the mouthpiece end so as far as these shisha pens go it's fairly standard if I had any comments I'd say that it's actually slightly smaller well slightly shorter but slightly thicker than the ones that I've had in the past it's got this kind of nice high quality shiny feel to it, a bit different to the kind of paper wrappings of other products that I've bought. This one's got a kind of plastic vinyl shine to it. So it's called the E Kaiser. Uh, they have a wide variety of flavours on Amazon and including postage or well if you carefully buy one with free postage like I did this cost me £4.50. So anyway that's the pen and let's go to the vapour test. Okay, so there is no on button that I can see, so I'm assuming you just go ahead and inhale. Whoa. Okay. So the first thing I noticed about that is the end is actually very squidgy. I don't know if you can see on camera, you probably can't, but you can squeeze it, it's kind of soft, whereas most, most Ishisha pens are hard. This one you can kind of bite down on it. Didn't get much vapour there, which is interesting. Let's try that again. It probably needs a bit of time to warm up when you first get an Ishisha pen because it's never been used before. The kind of atomizer and the battery have never been used, so they don't, they have never heated up before, so you've got to give them a minute normally. So it's producing a bit of vapour, um, not a lot. I've seen more from disposable pens. Okay, so it's starting to warm up a bit now. I'm getting a little bit more vapour. Um, in terms of taste, it is nice, um, but a slight criticism I have is despite the fact it's mojito flavour, it only really tastes of mint. Um, I'm not really getting the kind of sharp taste of the alcohol that I was expecting. Um, so the tip's glowing red, of course. Um, unlike the colours of the other Ishisha pens that I've used. So my Ishisha Club Infinity was green. No, it wasn't green, what am I on about? Ishisha Club Infinity was orangey yellow, this is red. Um, my Nova is blue, so I've got quite a lot of different colours. So yeah, um, my only criticism of the flavour, it's not an unpleasant flavour by any means, it's actually quite a nice flavour, but it doesn't really taste like a mojito as much as it just kind of tastes minty. It basically just tastes like mint flavour. There's no kind of sharp alcohol hit that you would expect from a cocktail flavoured Ishisha pen. So there's kind of the vaguest hint 
of kind of proper mojito flavour. Um, it's kind of like cool mint with a very, very slightly kind of sweet, bitter taste to indicate the alcohol. But in general, I think they could have done a bit more for that aspect of the taste. It's mainly just minty. But in gen, despite the flavour not being quite as good as I was expecting, the design of the pen does hint at quality. So it's quite vinyl and nicely coated but it's also soft at the end which makes it nice to hold in your mouth um, and you probably won't be able to see on camera but the um, the tip is actually kind of it's got this nice kind of ash effect it's kind of ridged so they've put a little bit more effort into the design of the pen than a lot of other companies that I've seen make them Okay, so it's probably time to end the review there. Um, overall, I'd probably give this pen maybe an 8 out of 10. I like it more than the Shish Club Infinity disposable pen that I've already tried because I think it tastes nicer and the design is better. I prefer not having a button actually. I think it's nicer to just be able to just put it in your mouth and toke away. It's slightly smaller. I really like the colour scheme and the fact that they've put a bit more effort into the tip. Um, my only complaint is that the flavour could be a bit more accurate, but like I said with the Infinity, it could just be this particular flavour. If you tried a different flavour like cotton candy or something, you might find it's nicer. So yeah, overall about 8 out of 10. For £4.50, it's an okay buy. Um, if you're new to Ishisha, it's, it's not bad if you're wanting something not that expensive, because disposable pens kind of vary from about £2.50 for the cheapest ones you can possibly get up to about £10 for the most expensive disposable ones so this one is kind of just over halfway between the cost scale actually that's not really right it's more like halfway in the cost scale so yeah overall it's not a bad buy um, so I'll end the review of the Ikaiser Mojito flavoured pen here um, coming soon will be a review of a funky shisha premium disposable pen which I think I bought apple flavour and also a apple grape and mint flavoured hoops e-shisha pen which is another well known brand okay thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the future